I'm just gonna forget the intro exists. Pretty much many people ask, what is there to do in Club Penguin Island or Club Penguin Island Continue in general? Well, I'm gonna show you one thing you could do immediately right now because if you're this bored to death and you really wanna do something, here's a, some awesome trick to you. You know these zip lines there? They're actually technically slow. If you're skilled enough, do that and whoop bam You have literally gone through Coconut Cove in about a matter of a few seconds. Perfect backup for speedrunners. Or I have no idea what speedrunning is and I'm way too unexperienced for this and I just discovered this out of nowhere. So anyways, you could literally just waddle around, um, collect stuff. Um, you could sit down here. But I think this might be the thumbnail here. Just this good location in an island in a beach. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else to talk about because this is actually quite a difficult game to talk about what is there to do aside from a community. So you could still waddle around more and waddle around more and then you find another zip line and then all of a sudden you found some secret mission area in the f you find us out in the mission soon i'll talk about them later so anyways i'm running out of stuff to talk about so um oh yes you i think he's just waddling around at this point he's making my life miserable okay now we're going somewhere anyways uh, okay the racing area let's look how many failed attempts you did Fail attempt number one, fail attempt number two, fail attempt number three, failed attempt number four, failed attempt number, wait a second, five, failed attempt number six, failed attempt number seven, failed attempt number eight, and then finally be successful tape. The reason why this is so difficult because a ton of RNG can happen. These peak things or damage boosts can move randomly out of nowhere. Anyways, congratulations, you got below 20 seconds. Many penguins can't reach it that far because of bad reflexes or they're too old. Actually, I think I just insulted somebody saying that. Let's just move on before I legit get myself demonetized or get myself banned in a Discord server because I'm seriously starting to bore the hell out of everybody. If you think Sea Caves is a terrible place to grind, well this is the proof reason why this is the best place to grind for coins, because that amount of stuff is worth probably about over 100 or 200 coins, that is a lot, hell even more, like 300 coins if you're lucky in Sea Caves. Anyways, I'm starting to run out of ideas what to say, the next place to roleplay an area, let's go to Mount Blizzard. What the hell, win streak 288? You know what, I'm just gonna say my theory. This is pretty much a reference for pretty much saying, this is the amount of Quackity HQ fans we have to ban due to the raids. Like, I don't blame them, 288 is definitely a decent amount from how empty the game was due to the membership. Hmm, well, what else is there to talk about? It's pretty much an empty area with white stuff, there's a mission there, the races doesn't work yet um, until the beta comes out, or the official release, or until I become a beta tester because I'm just using the offline mode for the sake of just literally having better recording. Anyways, some weird movement, and I failed. Yeah, that glitch is definitely more difficult than it looks. Watch the CPI continued glitch video if you want to, to for a better ex explanation why. Anyways, Island Central. Anyways, here's a symbol that create my mental breakdown against, well, Star Wars. The episode 9 trailer Star Wars, like the second one, is the biggest mental thing I've seen in my entire life. Explanation? Well, I literally made a mental breakdown video, which is the black screen, so I'll show you the link of that if you want. Anyways, here's the classic minigames. I won't play it, because if you played original called Penguin, then these will be nostalgia trips, and this video is not nostalgia trips. So, to the tunnel... Wait a second, where's the cantina music? Oh, wait, now nah, this is the cantina music. I'm thinking... I'm thinking too much of Star Wars now. Anyways, there's another prophecy. There's a prophecy that that duck tube is technically Quackity HQ, and he technically dabbed in the live stream. It's a prophecy, it's dumb, and it's theorized, and it will be unlikely he did it. So anyways, let's just leave before I literally get disliked on it. Uh, I said leave, can you jump off? Thank you, Penguin. Jesus, the controls these days. Oh wait, where was I? Oh yes, um, this is a Riven game area. Um, it's very easy to do. It feels like a quick time event. Um, yeah, there's nothing else to talk about there. It's just a Riven minigame. That's it. Anyways, let's... Well, what? There's that symbol there. Um, oh yeah, let's check... Oh, wait a second. Let's just actually check the eagle saying... Jesus! Um, I'll be right back. Anyways, here's a very classic glitch I've forgotten back in the olden days of Club Penguin Island. You could, there's an animation error where you could literally clip right through the invisible wall. So this is now a bounds glitch for igloos. Anyways, you can explore there for a while, and then you, there's a few things you could do. You could literally jump off and then go literally return right at the spawning point right there. Um, yeah, let's just move on. 
Anyways, there's only two maps that will work in this. I won't say the names, but it's Coconut Cove and the map I'm already in. So basically, all you have to do is throw a snowball, and pretty much, until you get the timing right, you can glitch the snowball, and you know what you can do? You can pretty much go into gears, and you can glitch the animations, like you're literally Jesus or something. Um, you could do this with party supplies as well, hell, even games if you want. Basically, this thing is designed to literally be useless and to show off. And... Yeah, this is a pointless glitch that I've forgotten immediately, like, the glitch is very useless, barely anything to do with it, just sh I'm just here to show it off because I'm running out of ideas what to say, and you can walk around, there's a fishing area if you want to fish, I'm not a fan of fishing from what I experienced from Sonic Adventure, oh wait, there's this mini game there, thank god there's actually something to talk about, anyways, you can pretty much, wait a second, did I heavy breathe again, anyways, you can pretty much do this mini game, and wait, wait, waiting, and wait until some penguin coming, which is not going to come because this is offline mode. And wait. And then eventually you decide to get bored and try to get out here. And then you get bored and get out here. And we'll laugh. Yeah, this is minigame is not very fun for me at all. It's just kind of boring. You earn nothing at all, so you don't earn levels, so I don't see the point of actually just there for fun. That's the point. Anyways, that's pretty much it. There's not much just stuff to do there unless you get a community there and talk to people. There's the Marble Hunt game. God, I love that. From my I shown a video about all known glitches of Clone Penguin Island continue. This is gonna be very useful for this minigame if it works. Um there's oh the luck based game. There's nothing to talk about there. It, I hated it as a passion, and I refused to do it. Um, and also, there's Connect 4. This game requires skill, and it's Connect 4. It's a classic from Club Penguin, and you can literally play it. Anyways, Jesus, there's... I'm running out of stuff to talk about after 7 minutes. Like, there's more stuff to do with glitches than actually doing stuff in the actual game. You can use trampoline to go up in the cloud. You can roleplay in the areas. You can grab resources to get coins. You can do the missions. Anyways, let's begin with the missions. The missions are very simplified. Like, don't expect anything like a good story like from Undertale, which I actually referenced in one of these videos. Star Wars, which Disney is killing, like the classic Star Wars films and the prequels. And Avengers Infinity War, where they erase half of the most popular characters, um, and Halo, because I'm just saying that for the sake of literally saying it has a good story. Wait a second, did it just end immediately with that god-awful mobile device? Anyways, yeah, there is nothing else to talk about. Like, if it was an event, I have, like, probably a lot more to talk about and do an analysis with this, but this is technically a mobile game, and me talking about it for probably nearly eight minutes, that's enough proof that there is stuff to do in the game, and you, oh wait, there's pants, like, of course we can't forget the Quackity HQ m motto, we gotta get pants no matter what, well, since he technically won, because there's no such thing as memberships anymore, so anyways, that's it to talk about, what else is there to talk about, I nearly described almost every single thing to do with the game, aside from, well, you can literally build an igloo, which I didn't show, um, there's technically, the beta's coming soon, that I should have said that a while ago, and now I am pretty much talking to a black screen again. God, this is giving me Vietnam flashbacks now, back in the previous video. Anyways, yeah, that's it. This is probably the end of the trilogy of Club Penguin Island continue videos, unless something major happens. Like, yeah, like beta's coming. I don't think I have that much to talk about. That's all the stuff you can do, and this is probably the last one I'm going to do, unless something major happens. Anyways, I would say bye. And, yeah, this is all done in one take, if some people was impressed by that. And also, I'm waiting for a voice actor role. I'm actually practicing a lot about that. Um, I'm actually running out of stuff to talk about. What is the one way to say goodbye that has not been done? Um, oh, yes. Nothing. Anyways, bye. <laughs>